Winterizing and Spring Preparation The cold temperatures of winter mean that your motorhome needs some special attention, whether you store it for the winter or you continue using it for winter recreation. After all, if you store your motorhome, you don't want to find broken water pipes, clogged vents, or a cracked battery when you get into it in the spring, things that can occur because your motorhome wasn't stored the right way. And if you use your motorhome in cold climates, you don't want to find frozen water pipes when you get up in the morning or a cracked block because your antifreeze protection wasn't adequate. So you need to be sure your motorhome gets the attention it needs to prepare it for winter. Proper winterization will protect your investment, avoid unnecessary repairs, and if you store it, assure that your vehicle is ready to go when you want to use it in the spring. And your GMC Motorhome Service Department knows exactly what to do to your motorhome to get it ready for the cold weather. If you travel in your motorhome in winter weather, the service department will put methyl alcohol in your LPG system and see that your engine antifreeze protection is adequate for the cold temperatures you will encounter. If you do not plan to use your living area water system during the winter, it will be drained and charged with non-toxic, non-flammable antifreeze. However, here's something important for you to know. If you want to keep water in your motorhome throughout the cold weather, you must keep the temperature inside the vehicle at 50 degrees or warmer all the time. If you don't use your motorhome in the winter, the winterizing services your GMC service department can perform for you still include draining the water system and adding non-toxic, non-flammable antifreeze. In addition, all the exterior vents will be taped and the interior will be thoroughly cleaned and aired out. Other winterizing preparation includes draining the air suspension reservoir, checking the battery fluid level and specific gravity, and coating exterior parts that could rust with grease. If you store your motor home at your dealership, he'll do even more to care for your investment. During winter storage, he'll cover your roof-mounted air conditioner and do such things as regularly remove accumulated snow, start the engine once a week, and, weather permitting, air out the interior periodically to prevent mildew and odors. Then, in the spring, when you're anxious to get on the road again, your GMC Motorhome Service Department will tend to your motorhome's spring preparation. It will flush, sanitize, and charge the water system with fresh water. It will remove all the tape from the vents. It will see that everything works, from the windshield wipers to the light bulbs to the refrigerator. So, you see, good care for your motorhome during cold weather is important. And your GMC Motorhome Service Department knows how to provide that care. You'll have peace of mind all winter knowing your motorhome will be in perfect shape in the spring and it won't take any time or effort on your part. The GMC Service Manual, Owner's Manual, planned maintenance guide, and owner's maintenance schedule pamphlet contain complete instructions for winterizing and for checking the vehicle during storage. Be sure to follow those instructions, which we will explain now. Here is how the living area of the motorhome should be prepared for winter storage. If the vehicle will be subject to freezing temperatures, all the water and plumbing systems should be winterized and protected with antifreeze to prevent broken pipes. This is especially critical on vehicles with copper plumbing. With the external water shut off, open all the drain valves to completely drain the water system. They are at the water pump, water tank, water heater, external water connection, and two at the kitchen sink. If the motorhome is equipped with an electric toilet, there will be another drain valve there. Run the water pump until the water system is pumped completely dry, then close all the drains again. Also drain the holding tank. First, connect the holding tank dump hose to a sanitary dumping station 
and then open the holding tank dump valve. Now pour five gallons of non-toxic, non-flammable antifreeze and five gallons of water in the fresh water tank. Start the pump up again and open all the faucets in both the galley and the bath. When colored water comes out, stop the pump and close the faucets again. The water system is now charged with antifreeze. To protect the low places in the drainage system, pour about one half cup of antifreeze into each drain trap. Cover these openings with tape if the storage will be in conditions where moisture in the traps could evaporate. And flush the toilet once to get antifreeze into its drain. No more water needs to be added during winter storage. If the motorhome is equipped with a recirculating toilet, charge it with a solution of one and one-half gallons of water and one and one-half gallons of non-toxic, non-flammable antifreeze. When you add the solution, be sure the water heater and pump are turned off. If the vehicle is a late design with a drain valve in the external water connection, open the drain valve in the line from the external water connection. Then, press the button in the center of the connection to release the water. To prepare the LP gas system for the winter, turn off the gas at the tank valve. If the storage will be in an extremely cold area, it may be desirable to have the LPG dealer add one half pint of dry methyl alcohol to the last tank fill prior to winter. This will prevent moisture and condensation, which could freeze the line or the regulator. Turn off all the gas appliances. Set the furnace manual valve and thermostat at off, range burner pilot off, oven at pilot off, and if the motorhome is equipped with a gas refrigerator, the refrigerator at gas off. To winterize the electrical system, leave the battery boost switch in the bat normal position. If it's left in the boost position a long time, the battery will drain. Turn off all the lights and other electrical equipment in the motorhome. We'll cover the battery when we talk about chassis winterizing. Before winter storage, it's also a good idea to thoroughly clean up the motorhome interior. It's easier to remove dirt and spots now than in the spring. The entire living area should also be aired out and all drawers, closets, and cabinets should be left slightly open during storage to avoid mustiness or odor. Remove all perishables from the vehicle, anything that could generate an odor, including fishing equipment. After cleaning out the refrigerator and turning it off, leave the door open to prevent a musty odor during its shutdown. For long-time storage at moderate temperatures, where condensation might be a problem, Apply a coat of wax to all the bright work and rubber surfaces. Then seal up the interior. Tape up all the vents to keep out dirt and flying or crawling creatures. Close all the windows tightly and leave the bath vent and door open for ventilation. Now let's see what to do to the chassis for winter storage preparation. For servicing details, refer to the maintenance manual. First, wash the motorhome thoroughly. If it operates in road salt at all, include the complete underbody in the wash job. Inspect the engine, transmission, and motor generator for oil leaks and repair any leakage points. Open the drain cock or Schrader valve in the air suspension reservoir and let out any moisture in the tank drain. Fill the gas tanks. This will prevent moisture from condensing on the walls and getting into the fuel system in liquid form. Check the pressure of all the tires and inflate them to 60 PSI as required. Low pressure could cause tire damage during storage. Check the engine coolant level in the coolant overflow tank. It should be up to cold with a cold engine or to the hot mark with the engine at operating temperature. Also, check the antifreeze protection with a gravity tester. Be sure it's to the lowest possible storage temperature for the local area. If the customer is going to use his motorhome during the winter, make sure the antifreeze protection will protect against the lowest temperatures that will be encountered. For storage in freezing temperatures, 
Also, change the engine oil to a winter viscosity to help cold starting. Test all the vehicle's batteries, chassis, living area, and motor generator for electrolyte level and state of charge. Use distilled water to fill the battery if necessary. Then be sure the electrolyte checks at least 1.255 specific gravity in each cell to prevent battery deterioration in storage. Charge the battery if it's low. If below freezing temperatures, that is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, are expected and the motorhome is to be stored for more than 60 days, remove the batteries from the motorhome and store them indoors where it's heated. The motor generator should be prepared for storage any time it will be out of service for 30 days or more. The first thing to do to the generator to prepare it for storage is start it up and run it until the motor is thoroughly warmed. Then, clamp the fuel line and disconnect it, letting the motor run until it's completely out of gas and stops. Then reconnect the line. Change the crankcase oil while the engine is hot. Attach a tag noting the viscosity of the new oil, which should be appropriate for the temperature at startup time. 20 WSAE oil is recommended. Remove the plugs and pour about one ounce of rust inhibitor, or SAE-50 oil, in each cylinder. Crank the engine several times to distribute the oil, or inhibitor, before installing the plugs. Remove the air cleaner element. Clean it and replace it on the engine. Install a new element if it doesn't come clean by tapping on a flat surface. Clean up the governor linkage, then cover or wrap it with a clean cloth to keep off dirt and dust during storage. Plug up the exhaust outlet so that bugs, moisture, dirt, or other unauthorized visitors can't get inside. Finally, wipe the entire unit clean with a clean cloth and coat any exposed parts that could rust with a light film of grease or oil. The motorhome is now ready for storage and there are a few things to attend to during storage. Park the vehicle as level as possible, both fore and aft and side to side. If it's parked outside, remove any accumulated snow regularly to protect the finish and prevent water from entering the motorhome. In moderate cold storage, open the motorhome about once a week and check it for mold, water seepage, and odors. It is okay to use household air deodorizers or disinfectants in the motorhome, but they should not be sprayed directly on any surface. Check the tire pressure during these weekly inspections, and be sure to maintain it at 60 PSI to prevent tire damage. If the batteries have not been removed, it's recommended that the engine be started once a week and run for about 20 minutes to be sure it will start when the storage period is over. The automotive air conditioner, if the vehicle has one, should be normalized once a month. Start the engine and set the controls for maximum cooling and high blower. Let it run for about 15 minutes. Also, check the engine oil level after running the engine. Allow time for the oil to run down to sump when the engine stops. After the check, be sure to seat the dipstick properly to keep out moisture. If the motorhome is to be moved during very cold storage, let the engine run for at least two minutes with the transmission in park before driving it. This will let the transmission fluid warm up and circulate freely. Spring startup now. Before driving the vehicle at spring startup, you should again let the engine run at least two minutes with the transmission in park. Also, before the vehicle is driven any distance, perform the following chassis checks. Turn on all the chassis and marker lights, headlights, parking and turn signal lights, tail lights, stop lights, emergency flashers, backup lights, and license plate light. Replace bulbs and fuses as required, and repair any ground or other connections that have become corroded to be sure all lights will operate reliably. Check the water in all the batteries and the level of the engine coolant in the plastic reservoir. Replenish them, if necessary, using only a mixture of 50% glycol antifreeze and 50% water for the coolant reservoir. 
Also, check the oil level in the chassis engine and motor generator, plus the washer fluid in the windshield washer reservoir. With the engine cover removed and the engine off, check the power steering fluid level. If it is low, repair any leakage and add GM power steering fluid. Check the transmission fluid level at operating temperature with the engine running in park. Add Dexron 2 fluid only if it's at or below the add one pint mark. Try the wipers and washers and make any necessary repairs before the motorhome is driven. Again, open the drain cock or Schrader valve on the suspension air reservoir and drain out any accumulated moisture for reliability of the suspension and leveling system. Test the power leveling system by operating both the control knobs to raise, lower, and hold. Remove all the tape from exterior vents and be sure they are unobstructed before operating any LP gas appliances. LP gas does generate carbon monoxide when it burns and venting is essential. Open all the drains and completely flush out the water system. Then sanitize the system with bleach solution as described in the owner's manual. Check for a full LP gas tank and start the motor generator up and check its operation. Then, in the living area, see that everything works. The refrigerator, range, oven, air conditioner, water systems, toilet, electrical systems, vent fans, and so on. Check the vehicle maintenance record in your files or the owner's service log to be sure all the necessary planned maintenance has been performed. If any is required for vehicle reliability, be sure to tell the owner. Don't forget to use the appropriate check sheet when servicing a customer's motorhome for winter storage or spring startup as a reminder of what needs doing and evidence that it was done. Do it all and do it right to protect the owner's investments during the winter.